25th, I had the State of the City address, and what I spoke was how important it is for a community to do long-range planning. I spoke in a number of different areas, and the first thing I said was that Franklin is a city with a past, and that past determined who we are now. But we have an opportunity going forward to determine what we'll be in the future. And so I've asked people, I said, what do you want Franklin to be in 25 years? And I got a lot of different answers from for Franklin not to lose its charm, or Franklin to be a place that people still wanted to live and work. I had one guy says he didn't want it to change at all, and I says, oh, you're such a fuddy-duddy, and he said, no, I mean, I want it to be where people still want to live and work. And then I got comments about people wanting to be a community that was more walkable, and so they didn't have to get in their cars as much. But you're exactly right, we're doing a lot of range, long range planning and that's part of uh, being a community and ensuring that our community is successful. And it starts with financial planning and the things that we've done over the last uh, four years is that we've created uh, financial benchmarks for our general fund policy, our reserve fund policy and also our debt policy so that we can project where we are as a city with our finances based on the best financial information we can have. And then we've uh, taken our capital projects, those projects that take big money, and we've tried to uh, rank those projects and at the same time develop a funding plan for those. One of the biggest concerns people have in Franklin is about the traffic. And we're actually part of the Nashville Pre Metropolitan Planning Organization which doles out the money for roads, no matter what the source. And that has to do whether it's a, a major arterial, whether it's a path or a bike path or just a greenway. Uh, they do help us plan our roads and we submit lists of those roads that we think are important to our community and then those projects get ranked and funded over a period of time. Then another area that's really on our mind right now is uh, water, stormwater and wastewater. Because we've grown almost 49 percent in the last 10 years, it's created some challenges for us. And that area of challenges is in our wastewater plant and our water plant. So we have regulatory issues and capacity issues on particularly our wastewater plant that we have to address. And we've been doing a study for two years now that helps us understand what's going to be required for the future, how we um, use all these aspects of water and how they relate to the Harpeth River to determine what our next projects will be and we have a plan on how to address those and have what we have to do every particular year. It's the only plan that I'm aware of that's ever been in, done in Tennessee like this and we're figuring out other ways that we can fund our projects. You know, traditionally our revenues have been sales tax, uh, property tax, and shared revenue through the state plus fines and penalties and permits and things of that nature. Uh, but we're finding that no matter how frugal we are, no matter how hard we work to be wise stewards of our money, you know, we still have challenges. There's always more projects than we have money. So we're, we're starting to explore public-private joint ventures, and we just had a, a flip-the-switch event this week out at the wastewater plant where we went with a, went with a joint venture with a, a solar company who invested all the capital. All we're providing is one acre of land for them to put a, a two-plus kilowatt solar um, panel array out there that over the next eight or nine years will probably produce close to a half a million dollars we think in revenue for the city and after it's paid for after the investors the private sector have gotten their money back then that revenue s stream flips and for the rest of the time we'll be getting the big bucks so that's smart use of you know our resources 
so we're looking for other opportunities to do things such as that.